7.09, you're late. It's 4.09, actually, in my part of the world. Also, I... You guys didn't turn your clocks back? The, the, the second... We, we have a few daylight savings times. You have to go back... You, you fall back uh, 10 minutes. You guys didn't do that? Yeah, the summer simmer down. That's not funny. You need to be funny. No, you're not gonna find every... Alright, you're not gonna find every single thing I say funny. If you did... If you... Okay, if you thought every single thing I said was funny, I would feel like you were just blowing smoke up my ass. You know what I mean? Grandma, please explain the birds and the bees. I'm really confused by it. Um, they're two animals. One of them's an insect. The other one's a, a bird that flies around. The, the bees are literally gonna... Well, that's how humanity ends. Okay? The bees... You want to look into the bees? Have We have issues here with the bees? That's how humanity ends. Is your birds and the bees. Once the bees are gone, we're all dead. Don't you get it? When the bees are gone, we are all dead. <laughs> Wise words. Save the bees. What about the mosquitoes? Fuck the mosquitoes. You know, my, my insect tier list... Okay, do you guys want to hear some, a tidbit of information here? Uh, mosquitoes are all the way below F tier. They're the worst insect. Mosquitoes were part of the reason why I moved to Nevada. I was like, what's a part of the world where I will never see one of those motherfucking mosquitoes ever again? Ever. I don't even, I don't want to see them ever again. Nevada is one of those places where there are just are no mosquitoes. They do not exist. I would rather get stung in the mouth by a scorpion than be outside ever again at like 6.30 p.m. in Massachusetts and look up and see the swarm of these bugs that just want to suck all your blood out. That's kind of extreme. It is. I hate mosquitoes. Having to be out there and to, the, look, when, when you, look, let me, let me show you. When you are outside and there's a place where there's a lot of mosquitoes, but they're a really humid place. Does, does this remind you? Does this, do you have, does it, are you, are you aware of this scenario? Yeah, so how's school? Yeah, no, that's cool. Yeah, I think um, one of the one of the big uh, problems I think with with the school system. You 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 just graduated? Yeah. Yep. I don't like doing that. I don't like fucking doing that. And everybody is doing it. Everybody in like the group of people outside are all doing it. It's not abnormal to see somebody just freak out and like reach elastic style around their back and be like. Yeah. What time do you guys want to go? I, if we want to get coffee, we probably should go at like six, maybe. Maybe, maybe seven. It's like, this is normal. I don't, I hate it. You're a hater. Yeah. I am a, I'm a mosquito hater. Do I talk about my dream now? <sighs> okay, this dream is fucking crazy. All right, let's, let, let me start. Hold on. So I had a dream. I would tell you right now, this is disgusting. This is a very gross thing that happened. Your sideburns are uneven. I need a haircut. Sometimes when I shave, I don't, I like, I fuck it up, all right? I, all right, this is actually a lot. That's really bad now that I look at it. That's like, that's pretty awful. It's like so full. I don't, but listen, listen, I think it's, I think it's because I like went to, my hair has a weird growing pattern. Is it that bad? All right, it's, it is bad. But listen, my hair is a lot thinner here than it is. Look at how much thicker my hair is here. Do you see? It's really, I have really thick hair here and really thin hair here. I didn't shave this. Look, see? It's, it's, see how it's better now? Because like this kind of, it thins out. You're reusing the sideburns a bit. No, I just don't care when I shave. I, when I go and get my hair cut, they get it to where it needs to be. I just don't care. I shave my face and I go, whatever, that's close enough. Whatever, that's close enough. I just don't care. I don't care. Like, this is fine, right? When I go get a haircut, they take care of that. I don't care. <laughs> this is not worst hair. Stop that worst hair. I didn't do anything. What the fuck are you talking about? My hair looks fine. My hair looks like good. Look at this. It's like smooth. It's silky. It's been conditioned. Just because I have sideburn hair does not make it worst hair. I'm not even putting it on a I'm not even making it a category this year. Good luck. It looks greasy. It's- what do you mean greasy? It's- look at that! Could greasy hair do this? 
Nope. <laughs> That's not the, how is it worse here? You guys are fucked. So I had this dream. This dream's crazy. I wanna, I have to warn everybody here, seriously. I'm gonna probably, like, this is gonna gross people out. I had this dream. Why is my mic peaking? It's not. Fix your settings. Fix your settings. There's nothing wrong with my mic. Here, listen to me. This is really important. I had this dream where me and Holly were on a road trip. This is like two different dreams that were connected for no reason. So me and Holly were on a road trip. We were like driving somewhere. And you know how in, in dreams, how stuff just gets kind of stitched together and you don't really know why. Holly and I, fix your settings, I don't care. So Holly and I, we went on a road trip. And we stopped at like a gas station slash, um, a gas station slash. I can hear she, I can hear her laughing already. I already told her this, by the way, and she was disgusted. By the way, she was like, "This is this story is fucking disgusting." Like, I, I she, I, she, she's heard the story already. So, anyways, uh, we go to a gas station, and we pull in, and it's a car wash slash gas station. Okay, cool. So the idea was, okay, we're going to get out and they're going to they're gonna wash the car and whatever. I don't know why we decided to go to get a car wash um, in the middle of a road trip to some friend's house or something. So we get out of the car and it's like, okay, take the car. Sure, whatever. Go ahead. Go for it. Take it and wash it. And one of the workers, this guy had like a clipboard here. And I like went to go do something and Holly was like in the uh, kind of in the business or whatever. And this guy, I, I, I don't know if he was like going to attack Holly. Like, I don't know why the employee was doing this. Like, I come back out, I think I was like, maybe I, I was outside for some reason. I come back in the establishment, and this guy's like going to like attack Holly. So, I, 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 I like got in the way, and I like fucking pushed the guy. And he pushed me back, and I like shoved him with the clipboard, and this clipboard like hit him in the face. And I started fighting this fucking guy. I was like fucking punching him in the face, and we were fighting, just fighting each other. And the whole time, we're, this, this car is at the car wash, right? So, okay, whatever, <laughs> the car is like at the car wash, flash, we're gone, we're not in the car wash anymore, we're outside the car wash, I don't know how it's stitched together, and we're looking for the car, and the whole time, like, Holly and I are like, that guy was a, what the fuck was that guy's problem, that guy was a piece of shit, yeah, I like kicked his ass, like, wait, I fucking beat him up, whatever, right, so I, I, I kicked this guy's ass, and we're looking around for the car, we can't find it, we don't know where it is, um, Eventually, we come to the termination after walking around the parking lot four or five different times. The car is gone. The car's gone. Somebody stole the car. Okay? Somebody stole the car. It's just not there anymore. So, we had to start walking to my friend's house, whatever it was. So, we started walking. Who is Holly? Holly's my girlfriend. So, we, we had to walk. As we're walking uh, down the sidewalk or whatever, some guy in like a trench coat and these like big like sunglasses he was wearing these huge sunglasses comes up to us he's like walking kind of next to us and we're like the fuck is going on and this guy walks up to us and he goes hey hey here here hey spray me in the face with this and he hands holly this like aerosol can to spray him in the face so we're just like i don't i oh i mean you gonna will you leave us alone just leave us alone so the guy, the guy's sitting there just waiting for Holly to spray him in the face. So she holds the nozzle up like this and is like pointing at him. And she goes Shh, and sprays herself. It, it was the guy was it was a prank. The guy turned the nozzle the other way and she maced herself in the face. And she's like, Shh, uh, and, and I'm like, what the fuck just happened? What the fuck? And the guy starts laughing. So I start fighting the guy. I like, start, I'm like fucking go. I fight this guy. I start punching this guy. I'm fighting this guy. Like, I have to fight another person. I'm fighting another guy. She, Holly's over, like, on the sidewalk with, like, these, like, welling up in her eyes. Like, I was like, pepper. I don't know what the fuck it was. So I'm fighting this guy. And we get to a point where, like, we're wrestling around, like, fighting each other. And we, th there was a side, like, a drop down. We were on, like, a sidewalk. And there was a lip. And then another sidewalk. Maybe, like, I don't know. Maybe five feet? Six feet lower? This guy jumps down to, like get down to, to the other sidewalk and I'm looking down at him he's only like remember he's only like five or six feet below me 
and I'm like, I'm gonna, I'll fuck this, I know what to do. So I like falling R1 the guy, like that was gonna work in real life. So I like fall and like punch, and I like punch him in the head, and like I fucking get him, like I knock this dude out. Two of his friends are like coming over, and I'm like, oh shit, this is bad, this is really bad. And they're like, oh yeah, fuck him, he's a fucking asshole, man. I'm just like, what? Like, all right, flash again. This is where it gets weird. This is where it gets really weird, and I'm gonna warn everybody. This is this is where it gets gross. We are at our destination, right? After that happened, we get to the destination. We're at my friend's house, and I really have to go to the bathroom. Like I I, I get up and at this remember this is a gross story. Right, number two. So the bathroom is like we're, I remember like this is stitched together in such a weird way. I don't know how it's stitched together. So we're, we we get there. I go to the their bathroom. And their bathroom is a bedroom. It's like a bedroom. There's a toilet that's like five feet tall. The bowl is like up here. And it's like a bunch of porcelain going all the way down. Okay? So, all right, it's like this is weird. Like this is strong. Why is your bathroom a fucking bedroom? There's like a shelving thing over here. There's like a bed over there too. And it's just like weird. Like why do you, why is it like this? So, again, this is gross. So I get, like, up on this huge, like, high... It's like, it was like a gigantic, like, high chair. It was like a big high... That's all the way I can describe it. It was huge. Like, it was really high off the ground for no reason. So I get over there. <laughs> Dude. I, I... This is gross. I take a huge shit, right? I, I, I take a, a massive shit in this toilet. And I'm, I'm done. Okay, that's it. I'm done. I got, it's time now. It is time. I told you this is gonna be gross. I warned you like five times. So like I flushed the toilet, whatever, and everything's fine. And I'm like, okay, it's time to. It's time to clean up, right? So I look over at the material that you use to clean up, which is the toilet paper. And there, on this roll next to here, it was like right next to the toilet. The toilet paper roll had this stain on it. It was a stain. You know what I mean? And I was just like, I don't. Uh, uh-uh. I don't think so. So I kind of rolled it a little bit, and the stain was there still. A little bit faded. Still there, a little bit faded. Still, I'm like, I don't want to use this. I'm not using this. So, I'm like, what the fuck do I do now? Uh, oh, I know. There, over on the shelf. On the shelf in this bedroom bathroom was like a various sizes and shapes. Different toilet paper rolls. Like, some of them were kind of halfway undone. Some of them were wrapped up in, like, the hotel wrapping. So I'm like, all right. The hotel wrapping over there. I, I, that's, uh, that's the one. It's a fresh one. It's brand new, right? It's wrapped in, like, that, that hotel wrapping. So I go out, I, 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 I start to go up to go to where the toilet paper is. But remember, I don't know why dreams are like this. Don't ask me why. Please don't ask me why. I don't, I can't describe why this happens. I was in the water. Up to here. Like, like a fucking jacuzzi. And I was like, pushing up to get out of like the jacuzzi. And like, get, making it so my elbows were like, on the bowl and like, getting up. Because that's how I had to get out. So I'm, I finally get up, I'm soaking wet. And I'm like, out of the toilet. And I go over to grab this, like, I'm like, what the fuck am I gonna do? So I grab this, this wrapped toilet paper, fresh toilet paper roll, okay? I didn't fall in. I was apparently already in it. Dreams don't make any sense. I was apparently already in this toilet. And like up to here. Remember, this thing was like five feet tall. So I I get out. I unwrap the new toilet paper. And there's a fucking huge stain on it. It's a huge stain. Again, I was like, this doesn't make any sense. What the, Something with the manufacturing this shit. What happened? This doesn't make any sense. Why is it like this? I don't get it. What the fuck? So I can't use this roll either. So I put that down. I I go over the again. There are tons of there's like five different rolls on a shelf over here, and I grab one of them. That's like kind of halfway done. But this toilet paper roll was like antique. It was falling apart in my hands. Like I would unroll it and it was like crumbling out. Like 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 as if it was like antique. I was like I can't fucking use this either. What the hell's going on? So eventually, eventually, I get to a roll that I have in my hand and I'm like, this looks pretty good. 
There's nothing on it. There's no stains on it. It's not like weird crumbling in my hands, antique bullshit. I start to like get it over to where, remember, I had just crawled out of the toilet. I get over to where the toilet is and like, it, it's kind of like oddly heavy. So I, the, the toilet paper roll kind of unrolls a little bit and then it unravels and hits the ground and starts rolling on the ground. And there is rolled up in the toilet paper, like 30 to 40 thousand fucking dollars. It was where this person was like hiding money in their house. It was like they were hiding money here, hiding it. I was like, oh my God, no, what the fuck? There was like a hidden money spot in your house. What the fuck? So I try to, and then this is all this money. There was like other like little antique shit in here, right? There was like little antiques in it. There were like little trinkets like wrapped up in the money that was wrapped in the toilet paper. So I start picking up these like, this bundle of like just like a, this rolled up money it was like rolled like this. And I don't know what to do with it, because no matter what I did, this was going to- I would never make it look the same way, right? Like, holy shit, man, this was wrapped up so perfectly, it's gonna be a mess. They're gonna know that I did that, right? They're gonna know that something happened. So, this is one. This dream is your internal struggle with money and greed. Well, I'm not done. It gets worse. So, eventually, like, it, this unwrapped money, I like put it back on the shelf. It's all fucking crumpled up and all fucked up looking. So there's no way I did this. No way I didn't touch it. Okay. Finally, I get a piece of toilet paper, like a roll that is fine and it works. I bring it over and I realize that there's a gigantic window directly across from the fucking toilet, like a huge bay window. And I was like, whoa. What the fuck? Somebody could have seen this. What the? Somebody could have seen me walking around like this? And like, the, who's? Uh, could anybody? Did anybody see? Why would you have a window like this? Why would you have a huge bay window here? What the fuck is wrong with you? What are you? What's fucking wrong with you? So, boom! I wake up. I wake up. And I'm lying in bed. And I open my eyes. And after this insane dream, I thought I shit my pants. I thought there was shit in my in, in my like asshole in my ass cheeks. So I'm sitting there going, I shit my pants. Like there's shit in my ass. So. <laughs> And this is in real life. Like I'm lying there in real life, going like, "Yep, uh, yeah, this, I, this, I should, I, there's shit here." I felt it. I knew it. I was certain about it. So I get out of bed, and I like waddle over, like slowly. I, this is the slowest I've ever gotten out of bed, and I walk over towards the bathroom, and I go and I like go to get the toilet paper. And guess what? There ain't no toilet paper in there. So. So I waddle across the fucking house, just like, God damn it, no, it can't be real. And I waddle across the fucking house, and I get, go to where the toilet paper is. And I get into, I get into a private place, and I like, do what I need to do, and I wipe my ass, and it's clean. There's nothing there. There's absolutely nothing there. It was fucking nothing happened. And this probably, I probably, I probably like slowly walked around the house like I had shit in my pants for like probably five minutes. Maybe like two, may, you know what? No, that's a lie. Maybe like two or three minutes total. But still, that's like so long. And then I laughed and I was like, well, that was fucking wild. And I had a wicked bad headache. <laughs> I had a wicked bad headache and I kind of still do. I don't know, man. Like I just have these dreams that just become so fucking strange. And that was it. And I was like, oh, that was like ridiculous. Holly was like out here, like out in her, in her office working. And I was just like, it was like wicked early in the morning. Like she was up working. And I was just like, I like walked kind of by her and I was like, hey, hi. Like I, I probably looked like fucked up. <laughs> and she can literally attest to this. Like this, this is real. I was like slowly walking by. Just like, hey. Hey, uh, yeah, I'm just like getting up. I thought I should, I thought I should the bed. Cause I thought like, oh my God. Okay, I gotta be careful. Cause I don't, I like in my brain, I was going over every single scenario. Like, I hope don't come in, don't, do not come into the bedroom. Do not go in the bedroom. Because like I may have shit the bed. Like, but how do you say that to somebody? Oh, hey, um, hey, uh, I just like woke up and I'm in like kind of a daze, but I may, I may have shit the bed. Don't go in. Somebody said TMI. I told you, I warned you over and over again. This is a gross story. 
This is not- this didn't happen! This is not a real story. Let me be- look, that didn't happen. This was in the dream. <laughs> this music! This music should not have been on this whole time. But I don't- okay, I don't know what it is about you- why our brains do this weird shit to us. But when I woke up from that dream, I- the, the, I, I shit my pants. Like, I did. I felt it. You know what I mean? Like, it was like, oh, no, 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 this is bad. This really happened. I really thought it happened. I actually really did. But why? Why does my brain want to do that? Why does my brain feel like, oh, hey, by the way, I need to tell you something. Like, you really did that. But like, the first minute that you're up, I'm sitting there, I was lying on my back. I'm lying on my back just going, oh, no. Oh no, this is not good. What do I do about this? What am I supposed to do about this? There was like so much internal panic like through that entire like I I don't know, I fought like two or three people. I thought I shit my pants. You need to stop doing DMT. I don't I don't do anything. Anyways, we're gonna play later alligator. And remember, this is important too. I know that like sure, me and Holly have a great relationship, right? And like it's it's very wonderful. I, I this is a great relationship, it's fantastic. But like it, I, I, I don't want to, I, I still like, don't want to like fart wicked loud in front of her. So the prospect of, I may have shit the bed, honey. It's like, <laughs> whoa, you went from like, you are farting in front of your girlfriend to you shit the bed. That's too hot. That's way too much. That's too fast. I've got to slow that down, right? You got to slow way that, slow way down. What's an alligator? It's a dinosaur that made it through the meteor, okay? Here we go. The thing is, I'm pretty sure the family is finally trying to rub me out for squealing. I didn't mean to squeal, honest. I just see a pair of earnest eyes and the secrets just start flowing out of my snoot. See? I'm doing it right now. Oh, cheese and crackers. What am I gonna do? I don't want to be rubbed out. Two ton Tony even told me I have to meet him upstairs here at 8 sharp for the event. They think I don't know, but I heard him talking to Big Mama on the phone. The whole family's gonna come to really show me how it's done. What am I gonna do? I don't want to sleep with the fishes. I have shellfish allergy, and I have my asthma acts up when I get too waterlogged. Wait a second. You're interested in me, right? You wanted to sit with me for breakfast and everything. Do you think that you could help me? Since we're such great pals, you could go out and talk to my family around Alligator New York City. Find out information about the event and report back to me. Yeah, that's just a great idea. Thank you for helping me out like an alligator like me. I feel like I'm just, I'm better just looking at your super kind, invisible face. And be careful out there. The last thing we need is two people sleeping with the fishes. We need to find a double bed in this economy. See you later, friend. Stay safe. Hey, bub. Got a minute? Or perhaps three minutes? I ain't above asking for five. I saw you walking out of John Johnny's over there, and I says to myself, Mickey, you gotta talk to that mysterious stranger. Vision and pinstripes, see. I ain't trying to fluff you up or another, but you look like an alligator of, of exceptional taste. As well as one who might like to dabble in high stakes games of chance and intrigue, if you feel me. Oh, don't actually feel me, I got a skin condition. They call me slick for a reason. According to my doc, it ain't going away unless I start using that topical cream at night. I gotta listen to some jabroni with a smarty certificate, you know what I'm saying? All my spots come from the street, which is also where I got this skin condition and my impolite lower back tattoo. Boom. Is this, what about the event? Oh, know about the event? Now look, well, look here, pup, it's a real secret affair, you dig? Ain't nobody supposed to be going and telling Pat about it. My lips are sealed just like they seal when I wake up after a night of nose-only breathing. Maybe though, just maybe, if you play a little game with Mickey here, my lips might loosen up a little. You can keep an eye on this flurry of fingies and find a queen. Yeah. All right, get your peepers peeled because these hands are about to become a hurricane. I can't voice act on camera. I have to do it behind the scenes. See here? Keep your eyes on the lady. Where is she gonna go? Where is she gonna go? I got it. It was easy. Ah, oh, but oh, don't be feeling too bad. Ain't nobody can. What? Wait, what happened? Did I just... Was I not even looking? 
And nobody can hold a candle to Mickey's slick hand. And catch fire from the mystery grease. Maybe I should start using that cream. I wasn't even looking. <laughs> I actually, I actually wasn't even looking. I was looking over here at you guys in the chat. Anyways, about the event. Well, yeah. Ain't heard it from me, but I hear it's gonna be a real affair to remember. The whole family's been talking about it for months. That's really gonna get his, if you know what I'm saying. Anyways, thanks for playing. Let me know if you need any of my city smarts while you're out here, rookie. Try not to lick any trolley handrails if you can help. Those dermatology copays are a real kick in the alligator pants. You feel me? I'll tell you what you need to know. The event is a secret. I'm a gator, not a rat. It's a birthday party. It's a birthday party. It's literally a birthday party. It's a surprise birthday party. And everyone's invited. And, and they, they, he thinks he's going to get, like, killed or something. This is a birthday party. I haven't seen you here before, stranger. Alligator New York City is a big place. But we tend to have regulars, you know? Little Rocco and Bonnie over there. Those two are here every day. But you, I remember such a visible face like yours. Ah, uh, look at me being a real jerk. I don't mean to be giving you a hard time or nothing. I've just been a little frazzled since last night. I had a dream that I was a ski ball and some sticky fingered kid kept throwing me into the 10 point hole. Go for the 50 dingus, I tried to yell, but being a ball and all, the ding dong couldn't hear me. I woke up in a cold sweat in my kitchen and systematically throwing individual oranges from the window into my neighbor's terrarium. The vitamin C would have helped me shake it off, but all I had for breakfast was black coffee and a half a can of leftover candy cigarettes. I got a dream for you. How much time do you have? Well, the event, now this might be just a rumor, but word on the street, there's going to be some sick games there. It's a fucking birthday party. Not pinball, per se, but, you know, you can take what you can get. That's all I can really say. I'd better get back on the grind. I'm trying to beat my last high score. Thanks for showing me your supple wrist and head. Catch you later. All right, let's go. <laughs> what time is it? Hey, it's me, Pat. The alligator? One with the hat? Hi, Pat. It's almost 10. Can you come back? Someone came over to my table and threatened me. Well, they gave me a coupon and told me to have a nice day. <laughs> but that could mean anything. Somebody came and threatened me. One free tomato soup. Best in New York City. Here's a coupon I got last week. If you come back, I'll give it to you. No questions asked. All right, so I gotta go back. I got some info. Ah, don't bop me. Oh, it's just you, my new friend. Sorry, I saw your shadow over me. I thought some kind of restaurant assassin was descending from the rafters to take me out. Pat. It's a birthday party. Just do what everybody else fucking does. And you act surprised, even though you know what it is. It's a birthday party, relax. You're gonna walk in the door, you're gonna go like, shh, you're gonna walk in the door, and you're gonna go like this. Coat off, lights are gonna come on, and you're gonna go like that, just like that. Now, those of you guys that have ever had a surprise birthday party that you knew about, don't get loud, because that means you, you knew about it. You have to go like this. You have to have like a bag in your hand, or like a coat in your, under, like under your arm. You have to go, <gasps> what the, hey, if you go like, oh! It's like you know you're playing it up. You have to have like a bag in your hand. Like a like a grocery bag or like a briefcase or something. You have to like be holding it up like this. <laughs> and I kind of surprised. Anyway, did you find out anything from the family? Well, yeah, I know the sound. They sound nice, but they just might be fluffing you up. You know, buttering your bread roll to throw you off the trail. Sorry, I've actually just been sitting here mainlining complimentary bread rolls the whole time you were gone. I remember Burger Boy, we were at, I think we were at, where were we? I think we were at like Outback Steakhouse. And we, we ordered like, there was like three or four of us, we ordered entrees. And there was like this big loaf of bread there, like the, like the free bread. And he, he didn't like order anything. He, he wasn't hungry or he like didn't want to like, he didn't have like any cash. And I think we probably offered to be like, hey, and he's like, no, 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 I'm not that hungry. But I don't know why he like didn't think it was free. The, I think the waiter came over and he was like, hey, is that free? And they're like, yeah. And he just goes, oh, nice! And he picked it up and, like, started eating it. It's like, what? Of course it is. He could have asked us that, right? 
<laughs> hey, hey, is the bread, is that free? Yeah. <laughs> I think the waiter was like, yeah. And just kept walking. Since I was so worried about getting super murdered today, I did the smart thing and got a special lock from my hotel room door. This little something I picked up at the hardware store. I was worried I'd get so nervous that I'd forget the lock's passcode, so I saved it on my website, www.alligator.fun. I even made a button you can click for it. I'm really glad now I took this all these specific button making classes at my local community center. This is Pat's homepage, generated by Geoscales? Warning. <laughs> don't click Pat only. About me. Sorry, under construction. Okay, don't click Pat only. If you're not Pat, you're breaking the law. This has been reported to the computer police. 916-19, okay. This is for sure my room. You can tell by the unobtrusive lock I installed. Can you go to my website and grab the code? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go. You did it! Thank you so much. Whoa! I can't close it. What's going on? Help! You gotta help me! I don't even like pink! What? No, 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 no! Back up, back up. I, I fucked it up. I don't... It's getting on my feet! Enter anything! Oops. Oh my gosh! Hello? My word, this is quite the mess. Who are you two, and why have you opened my door? Who am I? I'm Pat, this is my hotel room. I installed this lock because my family's trying to rub me out. This is my door, where I've installed a lock because my family's trying to rub me out. But if that's true, and my password still worked, is your lock code 91619? Is your lock code 91619? We have the same code. And our families are both trying to kill us. <laughs> so long, stranger. Perhaps in another life we would have been total best friends. Like ships in the night, Mr. Pat. And anyway, don't tell anyone what you've seen here, or I'll come for you. Endlessly. This is awkward. <laughs> We're not saying anything. Alright, here we go. Thanks, I never would have remembered that on my own. Come on in. Ooh, I'm so glad we made it inside. Now I can really try to relax. Try to distract you from the investigation. I'll text you again when it gets closer to 4 p.m. So don't forget to check your watch. You know, in case you do get distracted doing a collection of menial tasks formatted in an enjoyable manner. Something like that. Alright. Bye for now. Do you mean my son Pat? Oh, I'm just so proud of him. It's his birthday today. Did you? I fucking told you. I told all of you. Perhaps you could jog this old man's memory if you help me out with a favor. You see, the only photo I have left of my dear late wife Martha has also been the victim of a wheat crusher incident. I can't seem to put it back together again. Oh, how I'd give anything to see Martha's sweet smile again. Get to help this old softy gaze upon his long lost love once more. Sure, Grandpa. I'll help you. Like a block to slide it into the empty space. It'd be very simple a picture to gaze upon the alligator's beautiful wife. Uh-oh. Am I actually on a timer for this? Fuck, I'm so bad at these. You have no idea. I got it! I did it! I got it! I just did it! I got it! I just did it! I just did it! I literally just did it. That was in record time. That's it. I just did it. Oh dear, it seems you've seen the other side now with my secret wife. Could you put this one back together too? If not for me, then for creepy old coot grandpas everywhere? What? I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. It's like, it, it's too, it's like I, my brain cannot do it. My brain can't do it. Even if I sit there and think for a second, it's just like, like that's all I hear. All I hear in my head is, the, the net, there's nothing but that sound. No, oh, I can't! It's so easy. This is harder than Melania. I beat Melania. 
Look, everybody has a left, left brain and a right brain, okay? My left brain is this big. It's this big. It's like you, you'd have to go under a microscope to look at it. My right brain is so large, it's swelling up my skull. You, know, you get it? It's like, oh my goodness, it's swelling up so much, I can't even, it's so much. You, you have to go under a microscope to find the other side. Left brain, right brain is a myth. Yeah, but whatever, you could like, whatever, we can speculate. We don't even know, how, okay, we don't know how the dinosaurs died, we're speculating. It was a meteor. Yeah, but we don't know that. We don't know how they died. They could have, something else could have happened. They could have like eaten each other. There could have been like an explosion from a volcano, not a meteor. Who knows? We don't know. A big rock, you don't know. A big rock could have hit it, yeah. But also, there could have been like a volcano that erupted and a, a huge, really a super mega volcano, right? Nobody knows. All we can do is we can look at fossils in the ground and go, that was a meteor, I think, yep. We don't know, nobody knows. We don't know, you don't know. You don't know anything. You don't know anything, Ellen. This puzzle's hard, you couldn't do it. Yo, oh, I got it! Which event? I have four events to go to this week alone. Like tomorrow, it's Minestrone Monday at the Soup Kitchen. Then it's on to Taco Tuesday at the Women's Shelter. Wednesday doesn't have a funny name, but everyone does get those cupcakes with the white squiggly as an extra at the Alligator Food Bank. If you're talking about tonight, though, you might as well go act like a cop somewhere else, Officer Pinstripes. I don't rat out my comrades. My name is bolted up so tight the Count of Monte Cristo has spent years trying to escape from me while plotting his vengeance against those who wronged him. We just finished reading that book in my Tuesday lit class. Pretty baller, to be honest. I love revenge and breakfast. Okay. I'm Mona, but you can call me by my online handle for safety, which is kpopangel85. But I can have other interests besides the cause. All right. What do you? What do you? What do you want me to do? Listen, I'm not trying to give you crud about Pat or something. I'm just a little stressed out. Not to go all first world probs on you, Bobs, but I have a sign due to be scanned tomorrow afternoon. If I miss this deadline, it won't get printed in time for the Indie Comics Annual People with Bangs convention this weekend. You know how long it takes to staple a stack of these zines? At least two full episodes listening to Gator Crater, a true crime podcast about the world's most blown up alligators. Yes, Dad, I also have Algebra 2 homework. If you can help me put some of these pictures together, maybe I could give you the straight dope about the dope. Are you ready to join the resistance? Okay. So check it, Pinstripes, I've already done all the hard sign stuff. Like picking the clips and cutting everything with semi-straight lines. I need you to pick a good selection, then glue them into place. Sadly, ever since the stickening of 2017, I'm not allowed to use glue myself. Or glue sticks, or rubber cement, or large stickers, or small stickers. So you're gonna have to be the hero that sticks the picks. This sign encompasses, of course, the most, the three most important, most ziny things possible. I'm talking about social issues, indie comics, and K-pop, obviously. These three topics go together like peanut butter, jelly, and a third comparable thing that escapes me at this moment. That doesn't mean we can lean into any one more than the other. My sign has to be balanced, or people will think I'm biased. That means no page space for anything more than the other. So pick up a pick and get ready to stick. Careful though, I have a limited selection of content and my glue is forever. Just ask my hamster. Rip in Valhalla, Goopy the Third, 2015 to 2017. Don't forget to balance the topics. Okay. I wouldn't want anyone to accuse me of political bias or standing bias. Okay, so we already did Wib Wibbly Finn, right? This one? Guys together forever. Together forever. Okay. What's this one? Is it like a meme? Alright. Oh well, I'm going to send this to everyone I know. And some people I don't. If you type random numbers into your phone, they have to go somewhere, right? <laughs> Jesus. Do we really want someone who eat Do we really want someone who eat a sad lunch for another term in office? <laughs> oh my god. I mean, that's fucking crazy. That's so, like, sad. To be honest, this one kind of mondo bums me out. You're all done, hand it over. 
I said fair and balanced, but you're clearly favoring one topic over the others. I should have known better than to ask an outsider. What? I got it wrong? What? This is one comic, one- this is- I wrote- I wrote- I fucking wrote something down, I fucked it up. Right now I'm at two, two, one. So this would be- I'm so confused. Because this counts as two- Left brain logic. I'll dodge an axe if you swing it at me! Yo! Let's show it to the editor for approval. Uh, huh? Yeah, sure. We're good. Oh, I can't even imagine attending the event unchaperoned. Only my poor dear husband had been less poisoned. I wouldn't have to suffer such horrific indignities. Will no one think of me and my feelings? The questions grow tiresome. Your questions! Don't you see you're riling up the vapors? What are you, the lead detective investigating the mysterious circumstances around my late husband's untimely despise? I fucking can't read. <laughs> Dude, are you a sus guy? Yeah. I, I'll, I'll be at, uh, I'll be at uh, Comic Con next year. I have a booth, a sus booth. And I'll be like shaking everybody's hand and stuff. This, no, I'm not. I'm kidding. That's a joke. Dude, play the game. I'm doing that. I'm doing that. What? I just stopped for a second to look over here. It was one mo. Okay, it was like, it was like one full second. You had to. It took you. You typed that while I was playing it. It took me. It took you longer to type that sentence. He's gonna get stun locked. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm trinketing out of this conversation. Have you talked to more of my family? Found out any secret <gasps> plans? You think they're throwing me a- oh no, you're totally wrong about that. I would definitely know if they were doing that. Because it sounds a little far-fetched, don't you think? You can't pull one over on old Pat on his birthday, that's what I always say. If you guys want to hear the best cat puke sounds, those like ASMR eating, like kind of, what, mukbang videos? I don't know what it is about these, I like I watch a lot of stuff, right? But they'll- they drink- usually they drink like a big soda. At the very beginning, they'll always drink a huge soda. Like, oh, well, well, today, before I eat this big meal, I'm gonna drink a giant, I'm gonna drink a huge soda. And it's just like, it sounds like the, the microphone is inside of their throat. It's just like, cat puke, cat puke, cat puke. And I say cat puke every time. Please, minus two. I don't watch these every day. I'm just saying, like, that's where you can find the best cat puke. Like, you would want to find them. I don't know. Mods, deal with this guy. Mods, deal with him. You lost 500 viewers from that. I didn't lose 500 viewers from that. I lost 500 viewers because I'm playing a puzzle game. Germa is disgusting today. I'm just i I'm I'm tell- what? You're gonna make me throw up. I ju- I just said that if you watch those eating videos, they have cat puke sounds. What? I'm not allowed to have an observation about video content I've seen at some point in my adult life. You know what's fun? There's no- don't- oh, never mind. I say I always fall asleep with autoplay on and when I wake up, I see what's there. I don't know, I don't know. It's like weird. Like, I would love to just kind of be like, you know what, let's see what we get. And then I'll open up, like, I'll tell, have my iPad usually sitting right there. And there'll be something playing. Sometimes I wake up to cat pukes. I wake up to, like, the, the like, eating videos. And I'm just like, what's that? Oh, that's where we are. And I go back to bed. So let me ask you a question. Do you guys leave the TV on in the hotel room? You guys fall asleep to the TV? How's that different? You don't, like, put the TV on to fall asleep to the TV on uh, some random channel and just shit. You don't even know it's going to be on there. It's going to play. What do you mean, no? Zoomers don't do that. Am I out of my- am I out of my fucking mind? People don't, like, leave the TV on to sleep to some- like, a lot of time? <laughs> All he said- the last two weeks, he's almost made us puke twice from nasty food videos. All right, listen, I almost puked last night because I was watching this video where this guy ate this like, gross thing. That's not, that's, that's real, yeah. I, I, I almost puked last night. I almost puked for one second because we were, uh, when I say we were watching, I was watching. I don't know, so I just, I want, I want to have tons, I want to have tons of knowledge up here. I want to be like informed about everything. You know what I mean? So like, Food videos and and like Halloween conventions and um like infomercials and I I want to be all knowing. 
I have to be all knowing. I need to know everything. You know what I mean? Like that. I, I, I need to know about all these subjects. I have. I just need to like absorb them. Sir Gideon. So sometimes when you when you want to be all knowing, you might watch a video where like a guy's like eating like a big like thing covered in cheese and it makes you almost puke. And you go, all right, I don't want to see. That. I'm done with that. I have that knowledge now. I don't want any more. <laughs> the loathsome cat puker. I can't believe you. In this generation of people that consume media all day, that I'm the weird guy for watching TV at night. Huh? Huh? I say it's what's harshing my whole thing right now, but the truth is I, I, I recycled some really gnarly bagels for lunch today out of the dumpster behind the furniture store. My mellow has been thoroughly pre-harshed. Oh, why would there be bagels in the dumpster of a furniture store? Oh, throw pillows. Bummer. Listen, who among us... Um... What's this? What's the Among Us tune? I don't know. I actually don't know it. Remember, you would like break core. I don't know what that is. What is break core? This thing says cure for ADHD. What? This is a journey into sound. A journey which along the way will. This one? Will bring to you new color, new dimension, new values, and a new experience. Stereo Let's see if it works. Sound. So our journey takes us into the field of... This is, was, was this gonna work? Four, three, two, Let's see if it works. One. That was like, what was that? This is crazy. I feel like I feel like there's a counter on the top right of the screen, and it's at like one minute left in an old video game, and I have to hurry the fuck up and get to the end. This is crazy! Wow, this is crazy. What the fuck was that? Was a slap chop guy? Yo, yo! <laughs> this is like the only way you can listen to this music. This is like the, this is the only way you can listen to this music. There's no other way to listen to that. There's only one way to listen to this music, and it's like this. <laughs> like, I'm downloading all of the world's knowledge in one second. Like, I'm downloading all of human history. <laughs> there, oh, there was... There were the dinosaurs. I just... Okay, they, I just saw the... the, 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 the I can't even talk! I can't even talk! I'm downloading... It's like Matrix. I'm gonna be able to... I'm gonna know how to, like, fly out. Okay, turn it off. What, what if I skip forward a little? Whoa! I, oh, whoa. <laughs> This is like, no, this is, all right, there you go, you ready? Ready for this shit? This is, you, you, like, oh, like, mom comes in the room. This is all mom sees. You're really locked in here, and you don't know that anyone's in the room. And this person could literally just be in the room. It could be, like, your mom or, like, a sibling. And somebody could literally just be like, hey, like, you, you ready for dinner? And this is all they see in here, like, uh, kind of in through your headphones. And this, this, it's going to take, they're going to have to go, like, go like this to your desk. Like, imagine opening the door and you just see this. Like, you, I, you can't get a hold of me! 
You're never gonna get a hold of me. That looks bad. What? What do you mean stop? What? <laughs> that music. That music. Oh no. No. I don't mean that. Like you don't come into the room and he's, he's sitting there listening to that. Oh. Uh, parents walk in to son. To break core. <laughs> Circuit it to break core. Oh, all right. This is a <laughs> Let's fucking play the goddamn game. There's a crazy part, right? But like, if you if you open the door, and whoever's in there can't fucking hear you, but it's time for dinner. Like, how are you going to get their attention? You got like, calling them? Maybe, like, a Discord message. Right? You're gonna, like, you're gonna have to go through Discord and, like, dunk. hopefully they go, who's up? You just throw something at them? <laughs> like, like, frisbee something into the room? And it's like, like, frisbee's in and, like, this code does something cool. Do you have a way to scan it? I'm, I'm fucking scanning it. I'm not scanning it. I don't scan QR codes. I don't know. I don't scan QR codes. No, they, they freak me out. Coward. I don't scan QR codes. They freak me out. You're scared of ovens, gas, and QR codes. Why don't you do it? It's too, it's too, like, algorithmic to me. It's like, I don't know. It's too, it's like too much, it's like data. I don't know. I don't like it. I don't know. That's weird. It's literally just a barcode. I know, but it's, it's weird. Like, why does that do anything? Why does this do anything? What kind of alien technology? If you guys think don't think that we have alien technology, that's alien technology. You can you can the, uh, what? That's a fucking ink blot that has data. That doesn't make any sense. Like it's just a, it's like a weird display of like data ink blot like pixels. Why can that give data? It's strange. It's really strange. Aliens created it. I don't want it anymore. Are we ready for a surprise? Here we go. Three, what time is it? Seven o'clock. It's weird to we're early. Welcome back, esteemed guest. I'm afraid our kitchen is closed early for a closed event in the hotel ballroom tonight. I provided Mr. Pat with some complimentary stale oyster crackers and tap water. If you follow me, I can show you to his room. Even though I'm not going to wear them, I went and got all my shoes out anyways. I think just for the company. It's scary being in alone in here. Now the event is about to begin, but maybe since you're here, nothing bad will happen. This counts as something bad happening. Do you have a flashlight? Uh, I'm scared of the dark. And a flashlight, but slightly less so. A reminder of the inevitable passage of time that will one day consume us all into the infinite. Also, I can't read analog clocks. I didn't think I was gonna really completely be level with this character, but I get him now. I made it! Here we go, here was a big surprise. Surprise! It was a birthday party. I'm so happy. I wasn't getting rubbed out. I was getting birthday clout. It's so nice to have my beloved family here with me. We're going to take a big family photo and everything. That means you too, if that's okay. Everything you did for me today, it really meant so much to me. You're a really special friend. I can't thank you enough. Oh, come on. Everything is ready for the photo. Except for you. Follow me. So we're going to see the face. Face reveal. Face reveal. Oh, my God. Definitely this one. Or this one. <laughs> it's, it's, of course. Who could have forgot me? Alligator Bernie Sanders. I just really wanted to try to bring people together. All right, that's it. <laughs> Why am I in the front? This is not my birthday party. I should be like back here. This is a true ending. You got to 100% the game for a true ending. I got to be honest with you. I ain't really waiting for nobody. 
I'm just here at the bar to practice being casual and meeting other folks. You know, in a romantical-like manner. But I always seem to say the wrong thing and scare the other gators off. How was I supposed to know complimenting someone's bulging neck veins was weird? I have those. They look real cool. Anyways, between work and my somewhat bad personality, I don't get out much. It's so hard to just meet people in non-weird ways, you know? I wish I could just practice or something. Wait a minute, that ain't a bad idea. If I could just find a buddy to practice dates on, I could be way more ready when the real deal comes along. I know you're only talking to me because Pat set you up on one of his weird wild goose-like chases. But I ain't got a lot of friends to tell you the truth, so uh, maybe if you help me practice I could help you out too. I wanna go on a fake date with a rusty edge like me. Yeah, let's go. Great. How do you feel about a change of setting? Let's head over to my workplace and you can help me out there. Alright. What the fuck? My mystery date probably looks great in swim trunks, though. This is fine, actually. I'm glad we're doing this. It's been a while since I've been on a real date. Like, with an itinerary. Everyone I date these days just wants to watch a TV show on an old couch. Don't get me wrong, I'm above staying in and getting cozy. But I think a first date should be really special, you know? I'm getting a little hungry. Do you mind if we head to the dinner? A reservation! Should I keep going or are people going to hate me? Are people going to literally leave the channel forever? And dress to impress, I see. That shirt really brings out your eyes. Was that too much? I'm trying to roleplay, but it feels a little silly. You're doing great, though. So where do you want to eat? I heard you were quite the foodie. Somewhere cozy. Hmm, quiet and intimate sounds nice. I now am going to pivot to every old man character in every anime that's ever released. We'll really be able to get to know each other. It's so nice that you have a local place too. I've been living in this city for five years and I finally have my coffee place. Oh yeah, it was a big adjustment. The city is always moving. I was living across the river in Alligator, New Jersey back then. Please don't ask me about those dark times. There definitely weren't any cute snoots in Alligator Hoboken. Not like you. Now we're leaving. <laughs> I think I'm ruined. I think my career is over. If, double down quick. All right. You're right. Double down. When in doubt, double down. You lived in Alligator, New York City for how long? And you've never been to the East River Spring Festival? Uh, then you have to come with me. There's food, carnival games, and the whole thing ends with a big fireworks show. What do you say we split the check and head over? Flag down the waiter then. Let's get out of here. I'm done. I'm done. I'm literally done because, like, uh, do I triple down? Triple down. Oh, I'll, I have to try. I'll triple down. Do I triple down? I'm going to triple down. Let's play car. I'll, I'll triple down. <clears throat> oh, I love carnival games. Karen told me you were pretty competitive. Not like in a bad way. I'll tell you what, if you win me that big platypus doll, I'll definitely be impressed. A reward with the game first, buddy, and then we'll talk. I'm wearing a solid snake. <laughs> now, what a night. That guy in the beer costume and all the pretty lights. You know, for a first time, or you really seem to be warming up to the festival. Oh, I'm done. I'm, I'm quit. I quit streaming. I, I, mean, I actually quit streaming. I'm relieved you had fun. You never know. This I quit streaming. I guess what I'm really trying to say here is I'm so glad to meet you. You seem like a great person and I was really cool hanging out with you. Would you do this again sometime? Oh god. You should, you should, you should septuple. I, I failed? Okay, let's do a bread tier list. I don't give a shit. Alright, you guys ready? The quintessential bread tier list. Sourdough's number one. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh my god, no it's not. I want that person timed out. Hawaiian roll. Woo, S. Hawaiian roll S, 100%. No fighting me on that one. Hawaiian rolls are S. If you buy a bag of Hawaiian rolls, you better be ready for that bag to be gone within a day. Within one day. A whole wheat bread is, guess it's an F. I fucking hate wheat bread. It sucks. I feel, I know. I, when anytime anybody says, hey, white or wheat, I go, bro, white every time. Like, I don't like wheat bread. I just don't. It just makes it taste different. It tastes... Bread to me is texture and a little bit of flavor. Whole wheat bread changes like the flavor of a sandwich. Sure, I don't care. Call me whatever you want. I already know where this is going, so I need to do this now. I gotta let's get this out of the way because uh, people are gonna be mad. English muffins are horrible. English muffins just have a bad taste. I don't like it. 
English muffins to me taste like somebody made a like a bagel biscuit, like a biscuit, and they put like a droplet of like artificial bread flavoring on it. It's a, I don't know, I don't like the taste. It tastes like baby powder. Like when I bite into an English muffin, it's like baby powder. Flour tortilla. Is corn tortilla on here? Well, that wouldn't be bread, would it? Okay, but this is S. I love tortilla. Oh, sourdough is, you know, it's, yeah, I would say it's like kind of reminds me of, um, like biting into something that like, uh... <laughs> you know, I don't like sourdough bread. Here's why. That's why. Plus two, it still fucks though. I, why are you fucking bread? Whole grain bread is at the very bottom. I would rather eat cinnamon raisin bread off the ground than eat a piece of whole grain bread. I know. Oh, you're like, you have like a 10 year old's palate. Whole grain bread sucks, and everybody knows it. You don't bite into whole, like all like the weird like nuts and shit and all like the, 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 the plastic tasting things. It's like the big chunks of like grains and like little like seeds on it. It's like, oh, it's like, it's like bird food to me. It's like bird seed all over it. I don't like it. It's got bird seed all over it. I don't like whole grain bread. I think it's bad. All right. This is the bread from Outback. We know where that's going up here somewhere. But okay. Pumpernickel bread and croissants are the exact same in my brain. I need to be in the mood to eat a croissant. I don't just like, oh, you know what? Yeah, I'll have a croissant today. That's be a reason why I get it, why I eat it. Yeah, it is good. That's why it's an A. It's up in A tier. What are you talking about? Outback bread is white bread painted brown. Is it really? What is the bread at Outback made out of? Honey and molasses wheat bread roll. But no, wheat bread sucks. It, but, okay, wait, that's a honey and molasses. Honey and molasses wheat bread roll. Not just generic ass wheat bread. No, they're both going down here. Fuck them both. I feel like brioche is just better than most of these. Somehow, right? But I don't know. I love bagels so much. I could eat bagels breakfast, breakfast lunch. Why can't I say the K in breakfast? I could eat a bagel, breakfast, lunch, and dinner and be happy about it. Here's the exact same tier list from a year and a half ago that you did. What? Are you serious? This is my list? I did this already? So what does it look like? Oh, someone's got a screenshot. Here we go. Wait, hold on. I need to compare. Let's compare it. It's pretty fucking close, guys. It's pretty close. It's pretty close. Yo, this is pretty much the same. This is pretty good. What is mi what's 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 not up here? Croissant is up at S now. Potato bread, potato bread. Pretzel bread, pretzel bread. Croissant. I must have had a shitty croissant. I must have had a shitty croissant. I, you know, at some point over the last two years, I probably bit into a croissant and went, "Fuck!" <sighs> and got pissed. I'm some. I'm, that's probably that's, that is what happened. Should I do like soda candy? Is there a good candy one? I've been eating a shitload of candy lately. Should I do a candy or something? Okay, uh, Reese's Pieces is pretty good. I would say they're A. I would say Twizzlers are uh, D or F. Uh, D is fine, we can use it as F. Twizzlers are gross. Uh, there's only one kind of Twizzler I like, and it's the ones where you peel, you peel the Twizzlers. Those are pretty good. Bazooka gum, uh, if you can find one that uh, isn't as hard as a rock, that's, I'd say that's pretty solid B. A hundred grand. I remember the commercials where they'd say, what would you do with a hundred grand? Oh, I'd eat it. So that gets a B for a like, funny commercial? No, it doesn't. Let's just get this out of the way. Uh, Reese's are the best candy. Reese's are the best candy. There's no, I don't, honestly, I don't think there's any argument to be made. It really isn't. You know what else? I'm gonna give Reese's a little bit of credit here. They also haven't changed shit. There's been no new recipe for Reese's. It's the same goddamn shit it was like 50 years ago. Think about it. Remember, think about the things that you think about that go like, oh man, remember back in the 90s when like it tasted better and they used like fucking whatever? It's the same. Uh, sweet tarts. Are these the, yep, those are S. Absolutely 100%. Sweet tarts are so delicious. They're so yummy. I can put it, I can eat a sweet tart and it's the same exact thing. Sweet tarts are Sour Patch Kids, but good. 
sweet tarts are, are like sour candy, sour patch kids. They're just like a better version in my brain than a, than a sour patch kid. Kit Kats are up high. Number around A. I'll fix it. Andy's mints S. S plus. Tried and true for like 500 years. I may have changed my opinion on this. I don't remember what I gave this like two, three years ago. But Andy's mints have been tried and true, delicious, perfect. It's a perfect serving size. You only need like one of them, one or two. Just one or two, that's it. And it's completely satisfying. In fact, now that I know what's right next to sweet tarts here, this is A. This is only for the most prestigious candy. And Andy's are up there. As, as probably, you know what? No, how dare you even. Get your, get your hand away from there. How dare you? I like just reached, like, I just got like slapped by like mom going to get like the food. These are Swedish fish. They are Swedish fish, aren't they? F. I don't get this. I don't think I ever will. I don't understand why people like these. Yeah, God, uh, Swedish fish you chew, you chew them up. And then after like 10 to 20 minutes, you realize that you have this like, like weird, like red, like cement paste that's aligning all of your gums. And it's like, no, I don't know. I don't like it. Okay, all you Swedish fish Andes, what's the difference between dots and fish besides the squished mold that is the fish mold for the candy? What's the difference? I explain. You all say dots are the worst candy. Everybody knows dots is the worst candy. But Swedish fish are just like flattened out dots. The shape is important. Do you like dinosaur chicken nuggets more than regular chicken nuggets? <laughs> yes. Are these, are these nerds? S. Nerds are S. And again, another reason why, you're probably seeing a pattern up here. The nerds formula has never changed. It's, it's the same formula it's been since like a 19 fucking 100. Since like 1830 or whatever, when these were invented, they have never changed. They've been exactly the same. And they're really good. Jolly Ranchers, these are these are up here. I'd say somewhere in A. Gummy bears are a little, well, it depends. What do you want out of your candy experience? Do you want to just eat something and have it disappear and like, that's it, that was delicious, move on to the next thing? Or do you want a little bit longer lasting experience? Do you want to eat something that's gonna last you more than one second, 10 seconds? These are the same to me. This is just like extended delayed release tablets. These are like, let's go right now. Hershey's Kisses are better than Hershey's. Again, it's it's like, it's kind of weird because the chocolate in a Hershey's Kiss tastes better than a Hershey bar. I don't know why or how. I don't get it. And it's way better somehow. It is way better. Why? Why is that? You just said shape doesn't matter. No, I told you that these are the same thing, just different shapes. I also think they're gross. I don't think these are gross. I think these are, I think this chocolate's good. I think chocolate's good. I think these are gross. Yeah, they can be different shapes. As long as I think they taste good, that's fine. Probably over fun. Bazooka, what is bazooka? What is this doing up here? Yeah, it's called you chew up the gum for five seconds, read the comic book and spit it out. Why was this up here? But that was, those comic books, those comics were fire. How cool was that? A tiny little comic with like three or four, five panels. That's fucking awesome. What a cool thing. That was really, the rapper was a comic book. Um, excuse me. Yeah, I, I was wrong. You know, it's tough to like do these. Somebody said earlier, like you're gonna, you're ruining sponsorship opportunities. If like Twizzlers, if for any reason, ever, and I'm not saying this is ever gonna happen, but if any of these companies were ever like, hey man, well, we should, you want to like work together? <laughs> and all they have to do, wow, these are all dog shit. These are dog shit. You know what I mean? Like, I gotta be careful. These are not weighted to my palate. Moment. Uh, jelly beans. I mean, toasted marshmallow jelly beans are up here. But the fact that they kept popcorn in for this long, I mean, they, well, you go down here. Like, the, just the fact that these these people have put popcorn still in here this many years later. What are you thinking? Like, what are you thinking? Popcorn's the best flavor. What are you thinking? Popcorn's the best flavor. What are, what drugs have seeped into you? 
Popcorn is not the best flavor. Popcorn tastes like fucking eggs. The popcorn jelly bean tastes like eggs. No, I will. St I'm going to die on this hill. Toasted marshmallow is way up here and watermelon. So you know what? Besides like the egg flavored one, I would probably enjoy this more than fun dip or lemon heads. I think it's a solid beef. All right, let's get the, my old list. I think I'm happy with this one. All right, what's going on here? Who puts Mr. Goodbar in S tier? Why is Mr. Goodbar in S tier? Mr. Goodbar? What the fuck am I talking about? Why is Mr. Goodbar on here twice? It's on here two times. You were pretending it was something else. Does anyone, does anyone remember what it was supposed to be? Why would you ever put Mr. Goodbar in S tier? Oh, this is a... This is an absolutely brainless take. Gummy bears are in D. Cadbury eggs are in D. M&Ms are in F. What am I talking about? Broly is in trash tier. Uh, and I would put it there again. I would put it down here again. Everyone talking about how I have like a palette of a 10 year old. And yet I'm getting all this flack for trolley gummy worms. Being down in, like, D. Broly is S. No, it's not. It's gummy worm. Gummy worms are, like, fucking F. They're, like, D. I don't like them. They're down here with, like, Swedish fucking fish. I'll be fair. Relax. Relax. I'll be fair. I've never had a trolley before ever in my life. It's just gummy worms are for kids. So I just didn't never, I never bought them. Eat a trolley on stream. Gummy worms were, like, Oh, you! <laughs> He's got a worm in his mouth. It's for children. I never bought him. Everything that I have, besides nerds, is an adult beverage of candies, okay? It's an adult beverage of candies. Reese's is like the whiskey. No. Reese's is, yeah. Reese's is like the whiskey. Andy's is like the like peppermint schnapps. Three Musketeers is like a really good fucking wine. York Peppermint Patty. These are, these are, these are like adult beverages. A Snickers bar. Oh. That's like, uh, these, are, these are like aged to perfection. Everyone making fun of my, my 10 year old palate and saying, where's Trolley? Where's the gummy worms? <laughs> bubble tape. It's six feet of bubble gum for adults, not kids. I remember the commercial. Six feet of bubble gum for you, not kids. You're already in mind. Okay, I've never had a Trolley. I'll eat a Trolley on stream and I'll change my opinion if it's good. Uh, gummy worms are for men. What? That's not a, for men? No, it's not. Why? How's a gummy worm for men? Gummy worms are for men. Why are you putting gummy worms in the same category as as like a fucking like brisket sandwich? Executives eat trolley. Really? At the office? Really? At the off at the office? Trolley gummy worms coming out at the office? Really? No, it is coming out. Andy's mints. Andy's mints. York peppermint patties. Son, would you like a Snickers? Son, how about a Three Musketeers? That's coming out of the board meeting. Nobody at the board meeting is good, unless it's like one of those like 90s comedy movies where like the kind of weird funny guy got on the board of directors and like comes to the office in like a like a sweatshirt and like glasses and eats gummy worms. All right, this is not a 90s comedy movie. We're executives and we eat Andy's mints. Can you eat, can you eat a review of Papa John's pizza? I'm not going to eat a fucking trolley and then a Papa John's pizza tomorrow. Why would I do that? <laughs> oh, hey, dude, now that you're trying candy, eat a whole Papa John's pepperoni pizza and give us what your thoughts. I'll wear a suit and it will, it'll be called Face the Bullshit Stream. I'm talking like all the, all like the, the, the F tier shit that I've told you about. We're talking bread? Like, I'm going to get wheat bread. Like, I, you know what, what we should do? Let me, I'm going to go through these and figure out all the, all the things that I fucking said with the gross. So I'm tomorrow. I'm going to scour the world for all these things that I said that I hate or think is gross or think like I, I have, I'm so high and mighty on, and I will give you my real, honest opinions on them. I will not fuck around. I'm gonna and I'm gonna do it in a suit. This is gonna be like a fucking telephone on the desk. This is gonna be the worst stream of the year. <laughs> I'll see you. I'll see you guys on Thursday. Thursday. We're gonna start early on Thursday.